H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello. Hi guys. Welcome all to this first day of Selenium session. Uh, very good evening to all of you. This is Deepinder. And let us begin with the session. Uh, just before the beginning, let me give you the introduction about myself. My name is Deepinder. Uh, I've been in this field of technology for around past six years and I've been teaching uh, technology for around three years. Uh, I've, I've taught students in many countries, uh, being in US, Mexico, Spain, UK, France, and of course I started with India as well, and Australia, Canada, uh, so many countries are there where I've taught. And yeah, this is a brief introduction about myself. And let us begin with the session. So before we start, uh, is everyone able to hear me properly? And uh, I would just like to ask you, uh, are you able to hear me and can you see my screen properly? Is anybody there who is facing problem uh, in audio or video? Just in case, is if anyone faces any problem, uh, please let me know that you're having the problem. Okay, so I see a couple of names here. Uh, is anyone there who is uh, doing a repeat here? Because I see a couple of names here which I have seen previously as well. Or is is it just a coincidence? So anyone there who is repeating in this session? Alright guys, so let us begin with the session. We will begin um, with a brief introduction with 2H2K and forces. Okay, so just a brief introduction about H2K and forces. H2K and forces uh, is an e-verified business PC in Atlanta, Georgia, providing world-class live online and on-site IT training on real-time projects, job placement assistance, and tech support. Right. So the contact details are also written at h2kinforces.com. Contact number is there and email ID is all, also there. Training at the rate h2kinforces.com and h2kinforces at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so this is a brief about where you can find H2K and Forces. Uh, possibly in all the uh, continents they have their network where you, where you can get the training. Right, so H2K and Forces believes in providing training to anyone from any device. Okay, so IT training from anywhere on any device. This is what the uh, motto of H2K and Forces is. Okay, so H2K Infosys provides these services, IT trainings with real-time work project for corporates and individuals, special IT training for, for MS students in US, uh, software design, development, QA, for manual and automation, performance testing, and maintenance. It also aids in IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance, and tech support. So this is a brief about uh, H2K Infosys. Now let us talk about how we're going to work uh, how the sessions are designed okay so what you will be getting and how will it be done so today and tomorrow we're going to have a one-hour session 
okay so today and tomorrow it is going to be a one hour session since this is a demo session so that is why it has been capped to kept to one hour after we start with the regular sessions the sessions are going to be of two hours each uh, both on saturday and sunday this total course is going to be of 30 hours okay so whatever we're going to study in selenium whatever we're going to learn in selenium that is going to be of 30 hours in total okay each day all the sessions will be recorded and after the session they will be emailed to you you will get a link where you will be able to see the recorded video okay you will be also given a uh, username and password for that as well just for security purposes you will be getting a username and password as well okay so all the sessions will be recorded daily and they will be forwarded to you just in case you want to revisit a concept or anything is there you can do that okay so along with that you will be getting some running notes as well whatever we are going to cover okay so if we come across some important topics you'll be getting the running notes for that as well i'll be noting it down for theirs for example if we come across a question of, and th that is important from interview point of view or if there is a concept which is important which needs to be kept in mind i'll be noting it down in a word document which i'll be forwarding to every one of you right right after the session okay so i see a question here um, will we get any study material as well uh, as such there won't be any direct study material right uh, but i can tell you what to read and from where to read right but as such the you what you will be getting you will be getting videos running notes where some important concepts will be not uh, written there and some uh, software installation guides whatever softwares are required Okay, so we'll go through the installation in the class as well. After the class, you will be receiving software installation guides where the user, um, all the steps are written along with the recorded screenshots. Okay, so you will be getting these things, but not the any uh, other study material. All right. Okay, so this is how we're going to proceed. And as I told you, uh, today and tomorrow the session is going to be of one hour. But after we start with the regular sessions, because this is a demo session, going to be today and tomorrow it is going to be a demo session. So since many people keep coming, they keep enrolling, we are going to keep these sessions to one hour. But once we start with the regular sessions, they are going to be of two hours each, two hours on Saturday and two hours on Sunday. So is there in anything uh, you would like to ask before we start for the today's sessions? Anyone who is having any question in the mind before we start? Okay, so is there the question, uh, I see a question here. So the session starts at 7, yeah, the session is going to start at 7 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so will the two-hour session start from next week? Uh, possibly, yes. So it is going to be start from next week. And I see a question here. Resume preparation and live project session are included in 30 hours. Yes. Okay, these, these are resume preparation and your live project will be included in this 30-hour session. So in the live project, we, we are going to see we will be taking an actual project, we will be taking an actual uh, application and we are going to create a project okay, uh, using all the real-time conventions, how it is written, what is followed in that project, okay, how the project is written. So we will be doing in this 30-hour session that is included in that. Okay, uh, yeah, there's one one, uh, one important thing here. I see a question here. Are we muted by default? Do we need to type our question? So every one of you are muted by default. If you want to ask me something, of course, I can unmute you. Just uh, you can raise a hand as well, or you can type a question that I want to speak, then I can unmute you. But by default, 
uh, when you join the meeting you are muted so if anyone of you wants to speak just may, let me know that i want to ask a question this one question i am having so i can unmute you okay so you can see there's one uh, option of hand raising you can raise a hand or you can type your right type a question there and that i want to ask something can you please unmute me or something uh, you can type a question as well if you uh, you don't want to speak you can type a question otherwise if you want to speak i can unmute you as well Okay, so uh, I see a question here. Uh, when will project start? Means around after how many sessions? The project will be starting near the end of the 30-hour session. Okay, the project will include whatever we study, okay, all the information which we gather during the uh, some 26 or 27 hours. That will be implemented in the last few sessions. So possibly in the uh, third last or second last, we'll be starting with the project. Right, so that will start at the end of the session, near the end of the session, because whatever we have to study, we'll study, we'll gather the information, we'll have uh, all the concepts. So that will be starting towards the end of the session. Okay. So any other question you guys may have before we start with today's session? Okay, no question. All right, so guys, so we're going to start with this session. Just in case you have any question, uh, you can ask anytime. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so we have a question here. What if I have a question related to Selenium, but it is not in the class syllabus? Can I ask those questions through email? Yep. Uh, in the class when we start with the sessions okay when we uh, start the topics all right so if it is related to the topic which we are doing you can ask it in the class itself okay when i'm teaching you can type a comment or you can ask me to unmute you, you i can take your question at the same time if it is not related to what we are doing it is related to something else you can write an email to me that i'm having this problem or uh, when i'm running this program i'm not able to run the program Okay, so along with that, if you can send me a screenshot of that, uh, I'll be able to resolve that. All right, so you, you can always send me an email. I'll tell you what is my email. So always that option is also available. And if there is some place where you're stuck, we can also contact. We can also connect one to one using Google Hangouts. All right, so sometimes what happens is when you're going to start with the uh, session, when you're going to start with Selenium, at many places you will feel you are stuck you are not finding any way to move or, uh, move over okay so in that case we can connect for one to one session after the class okay uh, we can connect for one to one session after the class over google google hangouts i can uh, take remote control of your screen and we can resolve the problems All right so any questions are welcome there is no restriction that you cannot ask the questions out of syllabus but just in case if it is not in context to what we are discussing in the class you can uh, you please send me an email after the class okay so that we we don't want to bring, uh, break the link between what we are studying and uh, what we are uh, discussing okay but questions are always welcome ask as many questions you can okay so let us start with the session uh, meanwhile, I'll also tell you my email ID as well, okay, where you can send me the questions. But let us see what we're going to study, what we're going to discuss. So we're going to sh study why Selenium, what does it mean, uh, what Selenium does, and we'll also study why not manual testing. Okay, we're going to see all these options. Which I'm gonna all right, so we're going to see uh, why Selenium, why not Selenium, what is testing, testing types of course we are not going to discuss all the possible testing types we are broadly going to categorize the testing into 
uh, automation testing and manual testing and then we'll see what is selenium and what is automation testing uh, possibly we'll be covering up to this point selenium variance this slide which i've created these slides are for some two hour sessions uh, but since this session is not going to be of two hours we're going to have only one hour session so possibly we'll be covering up to selenium variants okay so if time permits okay let me tell you what all we have in this uh, slide we have supported platforms selenium and qtp comparison because qtp is one of the tools which was used for automation previously nowadays selenium has taken its place so we must be having an idea about what qtp did and what selenium does and what is the difference between them and what is the reason for popularity of selenium and then we're going to see uh, the importance of how to shift from manual to automation testing and in the end we're going to see what are the softwares which are required to start working with selenium okay so when we see uh, when i say the softwares we're going to see their installation process in the class live and after the installation process you will be receiving installation guides where everything has been mentioned with the screenshots at all the steps okay so you won't face any problem in the installation process and during the installation as well if you feel stuck as i told you you can write me an email that pretend that i'm facing a problem here i'll be very happy to help you out okay we can contact, uh, connect through google hangouts not a problem with that okay so i see uh, okay so we can't hear you is there anyone is there anyone who is facing any problem in the uh, audio video okay so uh, guys sometimes what happens is in this go to webinar one of you may feel like that you are not able to hear the sound or you are not able to see the screen so it happens sometimes with some one of the participants in the session this is my experience which tells me that one of the participant faces this problem okay so if it is for one or two seconds that is okay but it remains if it remains consistent right if you are not able to hear the voice throughout what you need to do is just log out of the meeting and log in again so that will solve your problem because as such i, I don't have any control over here where i can increase or decrease your sound but just in case you face any problem in the audio video just log out and log in again okay so this is the agenda this is what we are going to start with all right so why selenium okay if we if you see it from the context of uh, current job trends if you see the demand for selenium if we see it from the context of uh, demand for relative demand of qtp and selenium so this is the what uh, this is the chart which you are going to get this chart this graph has been taken from indeed.com and this industry trend is being reflected for us us market all right you can also go to this website indeed.com and you can search it here so you will see there is an option of job trends and in the job trends you can see one add i add term is there okay so add the term selenium and qtp and click on find trends and you will see this relative link is there so there you going to see what is the rel relative demand rel relative percentage growth in the job openings for selenium and qtp Oh, right so as you can see here the blue line here signifies that this is for selenium and this the orange line is for qtp so this blue line here you can see from 2012 to 2016 currently what we see here is the demand for selenium has increased approximately uh, by this is 60% approximately 60% right so it has increased by approximately 60% in the last 4 years but if you talk about qtp it is almost the mirror image of the above graph so here you can see demand of qtp has decreased by approximately 50% okay so this is this has decreased by 50% and this has increased by 60% so you can see the relative comparison here all right so if you apply for a job in qtp 
and if you apply for a job in selenium so you can yourself see 